Hello all, welcome to this new lesson. In the previous lesson, we discussed about all kinds of assignment operators that are supported by C language. And in this lesson, we are going to discuss about increment and decrement operators in detail. Okay, so having said that, let's get started. So the symbol plus plus is used to represent the increment operator and the symbol minus minus is used to represent the decrement operator. Increment operator is used to increment the value of a variable by one and decrement operator is used to decrement the value of a variable by one. So increment operator comes in two variants. One is called as the post increment operator and the other one is called as the pre increment operator. Similarly, even decrement operator also comes in two variants. The first one is post decrement operator and the second one is pre decrement operator. Okay, so let's go and see what is the difference between these two variants of each of these operators one by one. Okay. So as you can see on the screen, okay, I've shown you two different kinds of increment operators. The first one is called as the post increment operator and the second one is called as the pre increment operator. Similarly, we also have the post decrement operator and pre decrement operator. Okay. So when you keep the increment operator after the variable name, right? So that is when this increment operator becomes your post increment operator. And when you keep this increment operator before the variable name, and that is when this increment operator becomes your pre increment operator. Similarly, when you place your decrement operator after the variable name, this decrement operator becomes your post decrement operator. And when you place this decrement operator before the variable name, and that is when this decrement operator becomes your pre decrement operator. Okay. So having said that, now let us see what is the difference between post increment operator and the pre increment operator. Okay. If suppose you get an expression like B is equal to A plus plus, okay, which involves your post increment operator. Okay. So B is equal to A plus plus can be considered as B is equal to A is equal to A plus one. Okay. So it means first shoot the value of A into B and then increment the value of A. So the first step is to shoot the value of A into B and the second step is to increment the value of A. And if suppose I consider the initial value of A to be six, then we will have the value of A as six, which gets stored into B. And then I will increment the value of A by one. Therefore, A value will now become seven. Therefore, the result is B is equal to six and A is equal to seven. Okay, so let me repeat. Whenever you get B is equal to A plus plus, then you must consider this expression as B is equal to A is equal to A plus one, which means that first take the existing value of A and store it into B. And that is why we got it as six B is equal to six over here. And then once you do that, the second step is increment the value of A. And therefore, after incrementing, uh, incrementing the value of A, we get the value of A as seven. Whereas when you get an expression like this, which has a pre-increment operator, then this expression must be considered as B is equal to A plus one is equal to A, which means that first increment the value of A as the first step and then shoot the value of A into B as the second step. So the first step is to increment the value of A and then the incremented value of A must be stored into the variable B. So if suppose we consider the initial value of A to be six, then A plus one will become seven. Therefore, A value will become seven and you know, uh, after shooting the value of A into B, we get the value of B as seven, right? So as you can see, the difference between you know A plus plus and plus plus A comes into picture when you actually store its value or fetch its value and store it into a some other variable B. And the difference is seen here. Okay. So in either case, A value would be seven, whereas okay, B value in the post increment operator okay will become six. Whereas you know the B value uh, in the pre increment you know operation will become seven. So this is the difference between your post increment operator and the pre increment operator. Similarly, when you get the expression B is equal to A minus minus, this must be considered as B is equal to A is equal to A minus one. Okay, which means that first shoot the value of A into B and then decrement the value of A. So assuming the initial value of A as six, then First, shoot the value of A into B. Therefore, B value will become six. And after decrementing the value of A, A value will now become five. Okay. So this is the first step and this is the second step. 
Whereas when you say b is equal to minus minus a, this must be considered as b is equal to a minus 1 is equal to a. It means first decrement the value of a and then shoot the decremented value into b. So this becomes your first step and this becomes your second step. Therefore, considering the initial value of a to be 6, okay, when I do a minus 1 as a first step, I get the a value as 5. And then once I shoot this, you know, decremented value of a into b, okay, b value will now become 5. Okay, so as you can see, in either case, a value remains 5. The only difference comes into picture is when you actually fix the value of those operations, okay, uh, into another variable b. So, hope you understood the, the difference between the post increment and the pre increment, as well as post decrement and pre decrement operators. Okay, so let me solve an expression using this uh, post increment operator, and then I'm also going to give you an assignment which you can solve it by yourself. Okay, so now. So as you can see, I have an expression over here, which I'm going to solve now, okay? So assuming the value of A to be six, okay? So what is the value of B and A after this expression, okay? So first, when I uh, start solving this expression, first thing is I take the value of A, which is nothing but six, because this is a post increment. Therefore, I have to first, first fetch the value of A. So this becomes six, okay? So, and then which gets multiplied by, Okay, which gets multiplied by. Now, by the time I come to this sub expression, right? So, a value would have been incremented and which becomes 7, right? So, therefore, I face the value of 7 over here. Okay, so this a becomes 7 because there is an increment happening in the previous sub expression. So, let me repeat I initially fetch the value of 6, and then by the time I come to the next sub expression, that is after this, you know, a multiplication symbol. Okay, by then, by that time, this value of a would have been incremented to seven. And now I take the existing value of seven. Okay. And then six multiplied by seven is nothing but 42. So 42 will get stored into B. And then after this, by the end of this expression, a would have incremented twice. Therefore, the initial value was six after incrementing twice, that is once here and twice second time here. Okay. So it will become Okay, so seven and eight, therefore the value of A would be eight. Okay, so A value is eight and B value is 42. So this is the result. So let me just cross verify this by running it on uh, dev C++ ID. Okay, so, okay, so let me open my dev C++. As you can see, I have the same expression. Initial value of A is six and uh, I'm, I'm storing the value of this expression A++ into A++ into B. Okay, so therefore I'm also printing the value of A and B. So as per our understanding, A value should be eight and B value should be 42, right? So let me run this code. Okay, so before that, let me compile to see if there is any errors. There are no errors and there are no warnings. Now I'm good to go. I'm going to run this uh, program. Let us see the output. So as you can see, the output is the value of A is eight and the value of B is 42. So it means our understanding of increment operators and the decrement operators are absolutely right. Okay. So now I'm going to give you an assignment. Okay. The assignment is I want you to solve this expression and give me the value of A and B. So please pause this video right now. Don't move ahead in this lesson. Okay. Uh, take a you know pen or a paper and uh, I want you to scribble this and I want you to find out the answer for B is equal to minus minus A plus minus minus A plus minus minus A. Okay. So understand the difference between the pre decrement and post decrement. And then I want you to solve this problem. So once you get the answer, please do post it in the comment section below because I want to see how many people got the right answers. Okay. So please do not you know go ahead in this lesson without doing this. Go pause this video now. Go grab a pen and a paper and start solving it. Okay, this is the only way to learn, my dear friends. Okay, don't go ahead in the you know with this lesson until you do this. Okay, so if you feel you have done this, if you got an answer, then please do post your answer in the comment section below because I really want to see how many of you have really got the right answers. Okay, so having said that, I think uh, we have learned about the post increment and the pre increment as well as post decrement and pre decrement in this lesson. Okay, so um, in the upcoming lesson, I would be teaching you about size of operator and conditional operators so if you have uh, liked this lesson then don't forget to like this video also don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any of the updates in this programming series okay so having said that maybe in the next lesson until then take care bye bye love you also